and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And today, we got these Saturday morning legends. Obviously, every Saturday we do this. So far, by looking at them, they're pretty cool. I wouldn't say the names are brand, right? Like, it's not like the, the top guys that you like, it's not a Randy or a Dion, but the, the names are cool still. The cards are cool. The overalls have increased. They're now 93 set legends, and we have 94 LTD legends, guys. And we got the giveaway to announce real quick, so I want to get that nice and early in the video so we can get to the content now. Someone can ask, like, someone was, people are asking us, like, how do we know you really give these away? Well, I pick people on video randomly. They come, they collect their coins. I have proof of giving it to them. I'll, I'll actually show you guys when they buy it. And the person can obviously tweet out proof of it, but I already randomized it right here on my phone, and it is Mark Hawkins. He had the right comment, the right code, and he obviously put a system and he put Xbox One. So that'll be a little bit easier to transfer, actually. So Mark Hawkins, hit me up over on Twitter, DM me directly, or even comment down below, um, either or. And then when you're done, please post some proof. So people could believe that I actually give this way. Why, why, why would I have to hide with a million plus coins? I think I 75K is like, it's gonna kill me. For you guys, it's worth it. With all the support you guys have been showing, you guys have been crazy. Now guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, give this video a big thumbs up, boys. You guys have been killing like, but you guys, you guys want some more giveaways like that? Just, as long as you guys show support and, and things are going great, I obviously wanna give back. So just smash the like button. Can we get 150 likes plus in this video? You guys have been killing it. Everyone watching, just smash the like button. You guys, have, it's the best feeling in the world when I just, my video gets posted and the likes fly up and the views fly up. So thank you guys for that, making this possible. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. Come join the family. And comment down below what you think of these legends, guys. And like I said, personally, while I've been picking them up, it all depends on the prices. These, see, this is new territory. We're in 93 legend territory now, which I'm not used to. Because now, we're, you know, as overalls increase, we got to see how the market sets. Just like with Okoye and Upshaw, the market will not set right away. They will be overpriced because there's not many 93s in the game. And then as more things come out in the next few weeks, they will set down like Okoye and Upshaw did. So obviously, right away, they're going to be really expensive. So probably won't be picking them up right away. But personally would i open up packs for them i mean if you're going to open up packs anyways it's not horrible because they will be going for a lot so these are the kind of cards that you could pull initially like the day where they increase legend overalls is a good day for opening packs for you guys who do do that because they do go for overpriced like they're overpriced it's just flat out simple it's it's new territory no one really knows it's not, there's not an abundance of 93s to put them down so do as you guys will obviously Let's get over to Twitter and show you guys all these stats and the cards and see what we think. All right, so the first card we got is Patrick Certain. Hopefully I said that right. 93 overall cornerback for the Miami Dolphins. If you guys are not already remember, he does have a 90 overall themed diamond. Or should I say 86 overall themed diamond? But you could power him, have powered him up to a 90 overall. So for all you guys who have been waiting for that themed diamond upgrade, here he is. Patrick Certain on his older car was known for good athleticism. And here we got it again. Now, I see this Patrick Certain as a, I don't know, I want to say a very similar Denzel Ward. I'll go over stats right now so you guys you guys have a good idea. He's 5'11", 91 speed, 91 excel, 91 agility, 87 jump. Crew phenomenal athleticism. Standard par right now for what the athletic corners look like. 91 play rec, 92 man, 86 zone, and 90 press. Now, this car does have a lot of potential. If you powered him up all the way to a 94 overall, he would potentially get a 92 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility. And then with John Madden past the lockdown maxed out and powered up, he would actually end up hitting the 90 throne zone threshold. So he would have a 90 plus man, 90 plus zone, 90 plus press with a 92 speed. That's, it's pretty much Denzel Ward, except with the right abilities and stuff. He could be better. With John Madden and everything, Patrick Sturman would be better than Denzel Ward because he would have the zone threshold and just one less speed. But it all depends how you set up this card. He has 46 salary cap. Now, is that a lot to do to get him to a 94? Maybe, but a lot of you guys probably already use lock defense on John Madden. Now, obviously, the overalls are starting to get up pretty high in this game because this powered up and Kemdo could probably even hit a 95 overall. So we are starting to get to the higher overall range of Madden at this point, which is kind of exciting, which is why I probably want to pick up one of these cards. But I don't know if certain fits my team, considering I do have Ramsey, I do have Ward, I do have Dion. I don't think he will make my team, although for the right price, I could potentially replace someone. Now, for the next guy on the list, we got Andre Reed, 9th overall wide receiver for the Buffalo Bills. He's got that Band-Aid looking ability right there you guys probably know what that is 57 salary cap a little bit higher than certain now Andre Reed every year has very similar card art 
and I've never really been a fan of actually using him because his price never really matches what I what I think when I think of him. But yeah, usually he has a pretty high price initially, and then by the time he comes down in value, his stats are, don't really stand out anymore. But they did give him some decent athleticism here: 91 speed, 91 jumping, 90 catching. So obviously powered up and everything, he would have like a 92 speed, 92 jumping, 91 catch. So his speed will be pretty good. I have Tyreek Hill obviously, so for me the new standard is 95 speed, 96. 90 catching 92 catch in traffic 91 spec catch so catching is great and 92 short route running that's honestly pretty awesome because like as much as you guys might not know i don't care as much about deep route running and medium route running for my offense i should say deep route running right because medium route running is definitely important the way i run my offense so it's a lot of it's a lot of quicker cuts little little short things and short route running it, that's what makes your receiver look nice like when he runs those little quick outs those little quick drags those little quick things that those are the routes that make your receiver look like antonio brown when they make those quick cuts and medium is really important too actually it's more so deep because i don't really take deep shots although i probably start i probably said i don't have receivers a good deep route running but obviously andre reed is looking pretty nice here not gonna lie he'll probably be going these cards probably like 380 450k initially probably initially like right away probably like 450 and then they'll probably come down to like 380 390 when they settle in and then in the few weeks when there's a bunch more 93s they'll probably be setting around 320 330 at that point again like by the time i think andre would be worth the price it seems to be that i now never get to use an andre Reed card simple as that now for the limited time legend personally i i like the idea of the limited time legend but the issue is is going to be his price as per usual with limited time cards now let's head over to the limited time legend card Limited time legend Matt Burke for the Minnesota Vikings. Now, I want to like this card, I do, but a 94 overall LTD center, like centers alone scream like uninspiring for a position that you want. Not to mention the fact that it comes with, like it it, it comes with that price tag of an LTD. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the most boring position for a lot of people. Don't get me wrong, I love me a center, but like for people, they, they view the center position as probably like the most devalued on the offensive line when it comes to Madden. People care about the tackles, the guards, the, you know. But on top of that, he's gonna be LTD. This card's probably gonna cost initially, initially probably like 700k. If people really don't like this card, he probably will fly down to like 500k. But he's got the shield archetype, 29 salary cap. Now let's go over stats: six foot four, 91 strength is great, 93 awareness is great, 91 pass block, 93 pass block power, 90 raw pass block finesse. 91 run block 90 run block power and 91 run block finesse now stats are great he's well-rounded he can do everything he has the thresholds for everything he's going to be a top center in the game now the only concern i have with him is going to be his ltd price his rarity versus what he's actually worth now if you guys don't know what i mean by that i mean that i have travis frederick who i got nat from the thing that cost me very very minimal considering the methods we use for that he was very cheap didn't cost me much and he i believe has powered up almost all 90 plus passing and run blocking stats and he costs almost nothing for me so in comparison to an ltd matt burke i think matt burke is awesome but if you really want to make an ltd matt burke you should have had like a 95 or something something that you know that powered up in camw you can probably get close to like a 98 something that like sounds crazy but right here I see Travis Frederick for three times the price of what I got him for. So I don't think I don't think I could advocate for getting Matt Burke as a car. Like if you pull him, that's great, sell him. But I also don't think his price will be that crazy if you pull him because of just the position. He's a center, combined with the fact that there already is Travis Frederick. And I just don't think a center is worth the money he's gonna cost. Maybe it's his back. I mean, I could say the back of the card stats, right? But lead block and impact block. Frederick has above 90 on those two, I think. So I don't think it'll make much of a difference. I think I'm going to stick with my Frederick. And out of the three cards, if I had to pick one that I personally like to keep, it'd probably be certain. I mean, certain and reader are both great. I'd honestly use either one of them. The only issue with certain on my team specifically would be where we fit. I'd have to probably get rid of someone and then read wide receiver. I don't have many wide receivers, so I can't even complain about him. I'd probably end up using him. But let's head over to the Madden real quick to close out this video. All right, back in the match. I had to quit it during this video because for some reason it wasn't showing up properly. I couldn't get into my binder. I hope it doesn't do that again. I was telling my binder was full. It's a quick sell something, but I couldn't get into my binder. So coming over to Frederick to show you guys what I mean. Look, powered up. He has all above pretty much 90 stats. His pass blocking is obviously a little bit worse, but his run blocking is a lot better. So like if you if you, if you you evened him out, right? You took like six off his run block and added it to pass block. You ended up with 90, 90, and you took six off his run block or three off his run block, put it to pass block, you ended up with 92, 92, let's say. So at the end, even doubt they'd have almost the same stats if he didn't have such better run blocking and he was a lot cheaper i'm just saying like i think price to cost ratio like what he's worth price to value i should say i think definitely frederick is still the move 
And remember, guys, the packs will be releasing soon in the store. Legend Fantasy Packs. Always, never forget this. You can get two five bundles for the same for a little bit less than a, a eight bundle. So you, you essentially can get ten packs for slightly cheaper than eight packs. But the eight packs come with a topper. So always never forget that if you value the topper, you can take the eight pack the topper for like eighty nine hundred points, or you can get two five bundles for less than eighty nine hundred points, or whatever it is. It's not eighty nine hundred. It's twelve. You guys get the point. Pretty much 10 Legend Fantasy Packs cost uh, less than 8, but the 8 comes with the topper. So, never forget that, guys. But that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys made it this far, make sure to run that like button up. I love seeing it when it flies up, guys. You guys have been killing it with that. And like I said, uh, Mark Hawkins, I believe the name was. Don't forget to hit me up on Twitter or YouTube and tweet out proof so people can see. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.